Because I didn't forget about my original aspiration, I started my no own non-profit 15 years ago. And um, we started making investments in microfinance and we started supporting orphans in Japan and the refugees in Japan eventually. And that's how I entered contact with microfinance and I thought that it's, um, financial inclusion in general is still a very important thing to make the world a fair place. I myself was also saved by financial inclusion. If financial services were not there, I would not have been able to enter higher education. In 2012, I was invited to join an event hosted by a World Economic Forum. Uh, you might know the name Davos Conference. And there I got this enlightenment. The World Economic Forum is like the private sector version of the United Nations. You know, the, if you go to Davos, the, you have all the CEOs like Google, Microsoft, everyone, and the, all the national leaders from the US, Japan, Germany, you know, India, everyone join. And very unique thing about this is that it's not top-down organization. World Economic Forum works as a platform, and it's the participants like Google founders and the others who make the World Economic Forum, the private sector version of the United Nations. So I thought, okay, maybe I can make the private sector version of the World Bank, providing financial inclusion to everyone. So it is, Gojo is a holding company, but Gojo alone you know, doesn't mean anything. Um, it is a group of financial inclusion providers in many countries. Now we are working in five countries. We managed to support roughly 1.5 million households in these uh, five countries with almost 9,000 group employees. We are very grateful for what we have achieved so far, but um, the, our long-term or mid-term goal until 2030 is to reach out to 100 million people in 50 countries. So the goal is still very far and it is still the beginning. So we try to have Zoom setting group meeting, group CEOs meetings, but it didn't go very well. No, if we have any experience of physically interacting each other once, then it might work. But uh, for most of them, it's the first encounter. So you, know, the, you, cannot, you cannot easily develop the relationship if your first encounter is in an online setting. So it's the the first event and then I, I think we are going to have uh, you know the breakfast lunch uh, dinner together and we are going to uh, do a hiking together also so I think after this there will be many interactions between you know the, the CEOs of each company and that's what we are looking for exactly because um, one rationale of Gojo being a group of these financial inclusion players is that uh, we can stimulate each other and we have one partner company in one sector that means people don't need to worry about competitions right so the you can the everyone can share their own you know insights and uh, their, their plan with the others and uh, they can stimulate each other and uh, that will be a source of great innovation um i think Transparency and freedom of speech are the very important values of Gojo. And um, I think the CEOs might know, but um, you know, the Gojo members, they all have access to my bank account information and uh, monthly credit card details. So they know what I'm spending the money uh, for. And that kind of transparency is the, the what I, um, they commit to and I think it's nice if we ha can have a very candid discussions there in the period and um, we are not going to suffocate all this the speech uh, free speech so um, because at the end of the day if things are not fair we don't go anywhere so it should always be fair um, if it's not fair maybe you no know, the people can try it maybe a few years but eventually any such organization will collapse. You know, if you look at the history, 
yeah, there have been you know tyrants and the colonialists and everyone, but you no, know, at the end of the day, they already they all collapsed. So it should be fair, and then it should be, um, yeah, it should be based on the uh, fair and equal um, equal footing discussions.